Hey guys, working on a 2001 Honda Civic um, headlight reminder. Uh, the kid keeps leaving the headlights on and draining his battery. And on the stock Hondas, I don't know if the EX might have it or maybe the Acuras have it, but there is no headlight reminder to tell you that you've got your left your headlights on. And apparently he keeps leaving them on and draining his battery, which isn't good for your battery in the long run because your battery will be, you run it down to nothing a few times and you will severely shorten the life of your battery and kill it. So what I've got here is a little 12 volt, well it's a 7 to 17 volt buzzer. And uh, we're going to hook that up. Um, positive is going to go to the headlights whenever they're on and negative is going to go to uh, a negative um, switch when you turn the ignition off. So when I turn the ignition off the ignition power will go to ground and this will buzz. So uh, I'm going to check the fuse box for, for that in a second, but uh, first I want to see what this little sucker sounds like. It was like a $1.50 at an electronics parts store. So uh, cold out here. Minus uh, two, I think. Lovely Canadian winter, but no snow. Anyway, um, uh, da -da -da, I'm going to turn the camera off and then I'm going to hook this up to the battery so we can see what this sounds like. Okay, I've just got a red jumper lead hooked up to the positive wire. Positive and negative, I'm just going to see what this sounds like. Perfect. Well, that's what it's going to sound like when he leaves his headlights on. So essentially we're going to hook it up to the headlight circuit uh, inside the car in the fuse box. Red's going to go to the headlight circuit and the black is going to go to a... Sorry, I was in front of the camera. Red's going to go to a headlight circuit and black is going to go to a ground, so we'll get to that and I'll be back in two seconds. Okay, before I do this, I'm going to explain something really quickly. Um, it's about what is sometimes referred to as floating grounds. Um, okay, so we've got it hooked up to the positive battery, this little buzzer again, and we're going to ground it. And of course, it's going to buzz. Now you can use a circuit, any circuit that is on, even though it's got power, you have this hooked up to a power line, a positive uh, power line. As long as when you turn the, the car off, that circuit closes, that circuit's going to go to ground. That's what I mean by floating ground. So you can have positive power applied to this. If I hook the other end of this to the buzzer, so both ends are right now to positive, the same way it would be when the car is running on a positive wire. So nothing's going to happen to this buzzer. It's just got positive power flowing in both directions. It's not going anywhere. It's not going to do anything. It's not flowing through because there is no connection to ground. It's not going to hurt anything. You know, both sides hooked up to positive. Nothing is going to happen to this buzzer. It's not overheating. It's not doing anything. There's no harm done to it. But as soon as we turn the power off to a circuit, it will automatically go to ground and this will buzz. So what we're going to do is have this hooked up to Again, this is going to be hooked up right to the headlights, uh, the, the fuse where the headlights are. So when power is going through the headlights, this is going to be positive. And when this is hooked up uh, to a positive circuit, it's not going to come on. But when the lights go off, or when, sorry, when this circuit is turned off with the ignition, then it's going to ground itself. The circuit will automatically go to ground. It will revert to ground, and this will shut off. Uh, or sorry, this will go on. So basically, you're turning something off to turn something on. It's got power normally. We'll be going through here when the car is running. When you turn it off, that'll be grounded, and the buzzer will go. It's a very, very simple circuit you can use for all kinds of things. I've got another video where I've used it for a uh, flashing uh, uh, alarm light that flashes only when the car is turned off. So that's what we're going to be doing with this, and it's going to be a super, super simple hookup. I'll be back in two seconds. Yeah, you ever try finishing what you're doing in a goddamn snowstorm when it starts? Once you start, you can't stop. So anyway, I've hooked up this buzzer under the... I'm going to put it on the fuse box under the hood. Uh, simply because I don't... Uh, there's there's no constant power under the dash except going into the uh, headlight wiring. And, uh, t you know, I'm trying to do this simply. I don't want to pull all the... Uh, steering column apart and get to the wiring under there that's all nicely wrapped up. So I merely run a hot wire here, this one here, goes back and hooks up to the, uh, uh, the lighter power socket inside the car because that's uh, 
Um, that's going to be my ground because that is uh, has power only when the ignition's on and uh, turns to ground as soon as the ignition's off. And then I've just wired up into the 15 amp fuse on the headlight. So when the headlights are on, this will buzz. So um, anyway, headlights are off, car's off, so I'm going to, I'll show you. I'll just turn the headlights on. Sorry, crappy, crappy filming, but uh, crappy, crappy weather. So headlights on. Obviously, you can hear the buzz. Turn the ignition on. Ignition on, buzz goes away. So, shut up. So, because it's crappy out here, I'm going to temporarily wrap this up and insulate it and tuck it into the fuse box there, and then I'm going to make it a little nicer in a while. But, uh, very simple headlight reminder. Um, <sighs> shouldn't take this long, but when it's snowing, crap does. Anyway, uh, that's it.